welcome everybody to the Jumpstart Yourself Summit. I'm so excited you're here. My name is Katrina Sawa. I am known as the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach. Um, and I've been doing my business for 21 years this year. It's so exciting. Working with small business owners for over 25 years, actually. And why are we doing Jumpstart Yourself? Well, because I know that in order to run a successful business, we have to also pay attention to ourselves. <laughs> we also have to have everything flow in and between what we're doing from our love life to our self-care, to our family, our kids, our relationships, our friends, to how we run our business, our operations, our client generation, our marketing, our sales, everything has to flow together when you're an entrepreneur. Isn't that true? Right? I mean, we have to really pay attention to more things as an entrepreneur than if you work in a J-O-B. So I'm excited you're here. I'm excited you came live because uh, we have a great day in store for you today. And I want to make sure you've printed out the action guide right? Does everybody have their action guide? Everybody know where to get the action guide? If you didn't print it out, you can have it in the screen, but it's it's definitely um, a good little, I mean, we're going to work through all of this today and we're going to probably work through it pretty fast, right? Because there's a lot to cover and there's a lot of amazing speakers. We have nine speakers today. Um, I want to, uh, hold on, I'm going to put some stuff in the chat um, about me, but also about the summit in general. And so let me do that. So in case those of you who, oh, I can't see. Okay, go. Is there, I'm putting the, here's info about me, the host, in case you don't know who the heck I am. And then about the summit, do, 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 do and the link to the dashboard. So the link to the dashboard, I just stick stuck in the um, in the chat. I'm gonna go through it just to, really quick. You guys see my the dashboard, right? So this, hopefully you saw this. Mm -hmm. Obviously the Zoom link's here. If you get kicked out, the action guide is linked right here. It should automatically download to your page, uh, to your computer. The agenda is here so you can see I'm talking a little bit today, this morning, the introduction of the event. Um, and then I'm going to quickly move you through the jumpstart yourself, uh, jumpstart your focus and jumpstart your love life all in the next 25 minutes. Like that's ridiculous. I know. But I have a few things to share with that. And then other the speakers are all here. If you wanted to see their pictures and get to know them a little bit more after the event or sometime today, you might also take this Jumpstart Your Biz quiz, okay? It's in there. And then we have a feedback form. I really, 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 really urge you, please take the feedback form. Please fill that out at some point. Um, you can also wait until the replays. The replays are gonna be on this page as well. So all the video replays will be here um, so sometime in the next two days, okay? So, and I will email you when the replays are ready, but that's where they will be. The feedback form is here. I'm gonna remind you again to take the feedback or fill out the feedback form uh, once it's over. We really want to hear your feedback uh, because virtual events, you know, I mean, so they've been around for quite a while now. And I want to see how we're doing, how we are holding up to uh, the industry and what you liked, what you didn't like. It's all good. Um, so that is there. And then let's see. So your action guide, um, make sure you have that. Make sure you get your videos on. Hi, I see you. Clar Clarencia, is it? Clarencia. Oh, maybe that's just her picture. Mm, she psyched me out with that one. <laughs> I see Ramona. Okay. I see Ramona. Hi. Hi, Colleen. We were just talking about you. Um, <laughs> and I see Michael. Who else? Who else needs to come on video? Carol's hiding. Maybe you guys are eating breakfast. I don't know. I see Christy. She's one of our speakers. So's RV. So's Jackie. So's Tiffany. TK, you might change your thing to Tiffany. So we know that's you. Uh, you know, you can rename yourself on the computer or on the Zoom room. Just hit the, the three uh, little dots on the top of your the right of your square up in the right corner. So I'm excited you guys are here. Let me dive in because I want to talk about jumpstarting your focus, okay? 
And so if you don't know me very well, I am a very, very organized person. <laughs> uh, I'm very organized. I'm very efficient. Uh, I am, take uh, attention to detail very seriously when it comes to my business. And I am super, I do a lot of stuff. People say, how do you, do you must work all the time? How do you do it all? And I say, well, I have, first of all, I have systems. I have the right tech. Okay. I have really good technology. I have all the things in place. I have the right systems, which means you come here, you land there, you click here, you do this, and then you get this autumn. I made an email that goes here and here, right? I mean, I have all that set up and I'm continually uh, improving on that because nothing is ever perfect, right? And I, I know I can't get to perfection, but it's about making sure that all that is set up. I have a team of three assistants that work for me on a regular basis. Uh, and then I have other people I bring in when I'm doing book launches and things like that. But it's all because I want to focus on what matters more. Okay, so this is about jumpstarting ourselves. The, my whole theme for this year was focus on what matters. That was my theme for the year. Pe some people have a word like abundance or whatever your word was for the year. I had, a, I had a theme for the year, which was focus on what matters. And what matters most to me is to spend more time with family, friends, loved ones, my kid, my husband, my dog even. I love my dog. Like, <laughs> and and my mom, who's actually going through, well, she refuses to say that she has lung cancer, but she has it supposedly. So, and she's uh, kind of not, um, you know, so I have to, I want to spend as much time as I can with people. Um, and so focusing on what matters most means to me, making sure I have the business set up. So I'm not spending extra time in the business and away from what matters most. So I would urge you to get systems in place, the right tech and the right team and the right strategies sooner than later, because you never know when something's going to happen. And those of you who don't know, like when I was uh, met my current husband, Jason, we met in 2012 on eHarmony, by the way, I'm going to get into the love life stuff in a second. But when we met on in 2012, I mean, it was a fast track. We were going to get married actually in 2014. He proposed at one of my live events, you guys. It was so funny. I was on stage. I had a panel going uh, at my business event, right? And he knelt down and proposed on stage. It was so cute. But three weeks later, he got throat cancer. He was diagnosed with throat cancer. And I thought, oh my God, I'm going to lose this guy, right? I just found him. No, you can't go anywhere. So I had to change a lot of things so that I could spend time half a day, at least a half a day every day with him for eight weeks through chemo and radiation and all that. And it was hard, but I had some of those systems already set up. I already had an assistant. Thankfully, I didn't have enough stuff set up as I do now, but thankfully I already had it set up. He got diagnosed at, uh, I want to say it was, what was it? 14. He was, I was, um, 44. So he was 45. So he was 45 years old. You wouldn't think that was going to happen at 45 years old, right? Oh, Michael, thank you. Yeah, you were there. <laughs> uh, you were at that event, I remember. And so it was, it was hard to go through that. So I just want to urge you to please set your business, set your life, set it up as efficiency efficiently as possible, please, as fast as possible, because you never know when something's going to happen. Okay. So let's turn to the action guide. And uh, la, 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 la. okay, share. I have a lot of things open <laughs> on my computer. Okay. You guys can see the action guide, right? Yes. Give me a thumbs up, Christy. Okay, great. All right. So, you know what? I think I'm going to, okay. The first thing I want you guys to do, what kind of jumpstart are you looking to get today? It could be a couple different things. These are the topics that we're covering for the most part. Okay. I want you to write down your biggest goals here right now, personal or professional. 
Do you want to make a hundred thousand this year? Do you want to make 500,000 this year? Do you want to lose 30 pounds? Do you want to uh, take a vacation? Like, do you want to hire an assistant? What are your biggest goals? Do you want to, um, I don't know, automate more things? Do you want to get a new website? What are your biggest goals? And then write them here, but also perhaps write them in the chat so we can see them. The more you proclaim your goals, the more likely they are to come true. Have you guys done that before? Where I was at an event one time, uh, my friend, and there was like 250 people in the audience. And I, I got the urge to like have my first live event. It was a four day training event. This was back in 2009 in January. And I stood up on the mic and said, I am having my first event in November. You're all invited. And I proclaimed it. And then I ended up doing it, right? So when you proclaim stuff, you do it. You, you're more likely to do it. So I do want to see the chat. So feel free to put your big goals, big hairy goals in the chat, right? Think and grow rich. Think first. Yes. All right. So, and if you aren't, you don't have five, that's okay. If, if it's just a couple things that are more important to you, that's fine too. So focus on what matters, right? Based on your big goals, what are your top five main focuses? List them in order of importance. So if you want to lose weight, do you need to clear the clutter out of your, uh, out of your pantry? Do you need to not allow certain things into your house anymore? Do you need to get a scale to weigh your food so you eat smaller portions? Do you need to put on the grocery list, uh, you know, broccoli, zucchini, and and uh, carrots instead of potato chips and pizza and like, you know, right? So like, what do you have to do? What are the things, the smaller things that are going to get you to those goals? Pick one goal that you want to work on. It could be your business. So do you need to up-level your website? Do you need to hire a, a techie person? Do you need to hire a bookkeeper? Do you, what are those things, right, that can lead you to that goal? Pick the first five things that can come to mind and, and try to put them in order of importance. If you don't know the order of importance, then uh, be healthy enough to keep my stamina going and book lots of events. Good for you, Michael. Those are your goals. Want to develop a better and healthier lifestyle? Philip says, publish another three books in 2024. Wow. You go, girl. Finish my dissertation. T. Ivers. Mitch Austin wants a TED Talk. Awesome. There was a, oh, Jackie's giving away a TED Talk directory. That's one of her um, bonus prizes today. So you're going to want to stick around so you can find out where all those TED Talks are looking for speakers. Um, I was just looking at the chat. Okay. So now where do you need to get more organized so you can focus more on the above things? Where do you need to get more organized? In your to-dos. Do you have to-dos scattered all over the place? Do you have little sticky notes and pieces of paper all over the place? Or do you have one to-do list that is that you refresh every couple days, perhaps, or every at least every week so that you're super clear on your to-dos all in one place, right? Um, what about your inbox? I have so many clients that we need to delete. We need to unsubscribe. We need to really get stuff out of their inbox because they're overwhelmed in their inbox and they don't even want to look at their email. You have to clean out your inbox. Back in April, I got to the bottom of my inbox. It was amazing. And I was there for like three months. I was, I had, I could see the bottom of my inbox because I unsubscribed from a whole bunch of stuff. You, you know, the people will, that you're unsubscribing from will be there later. They'll be there later when you need them. If it's not in your order of importance right now, let it go. Let it go and they'll come back to you when you need them. Don't just keep them because you think, oh, I got to make sure I see their stuff. No, you don't. If it's not something you have to pay attention to right now to achieve the goals that you have right this minute, then get rid of it. Get it out of your inbox, right? Organize your computer documents and files. I have clients that can sometimes have to look for 15 minutes to find their speaker sheet or a document that we worked on, right? Because they didn't sort it and organize it efficiently. You have to manage this because you will waste hours looking for stuff if you don't get organized with this kind of stuff. I know it seems 
trivial, but I'm telling you, I see it as a business coach. When I'm on calls with people, I see them struggling, looking for stuff all the time. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Um, you might need to get more organized with your finances, your marketing. Most people do need uh, more and different and better and more efficient marketing and systems and team. So circle some of the things that you really want to work on and you want to focus on. What are the three things you may have to shift or release in order to refocus on what matters most? Do you have to set better boundaries, right? What boundaries do you need to set up to accomplish this organization, uh, your focus, or have time to work on achieving your big goals? What boundaries? A lot of times you have to, maybe we have to, you know, come in early when the phone's not going and there's no emails and there's no one bothering us. Sometimes I like to work at like five o'clock in the morning. Now, not often because I like my sleep, but every once in a while I get inspired to come in and I get a whole bunch done before I, you know, you know, have breakfast or something. And then I can take off late earlier in the day, but my creativity time is AM, right? So in the morning is when I'm most creative. So that's when you want to work on your own stuff, by the way, right? When you're most creative, if that's the time, whatever time that is for you. So these are the kind of things that I think you want to focus on to at least get you started. And then I have here, I'll put these in the chat. My free gifts from this section. Now, uh, oh, and I think the URLs that I'm copying and pasting are not going to work. There we go. Okay. So I'm, I'm doing this with my own free gifts, and this is uh, what we're going through through the day. So the speakers are going to come on and give like five or seven minutes of their story, and then we're going to go through all the questions for each section, right? And then we're going to share, you have the links here, so you can go to their free gift anytime you want, right? So on the focus, jumpstart your focus page, there's a, um, there's a great, it's a one hour video training. And this productivity and technology implementation, eh, implementation worksheet, you guys, is really good. It's like two pages of everything you need to do, especially with your tech and your systems. You want that because it's like a checklist. You're not going to be able to do it all in a year. Trust me. There's so much stuff on there that you're going to have to just pick and choose like five or six things maybe in the next quarter because there's that much stuff. Okay, so just be realistic with what you need to do, but that is a good checklist for you. Uh, and you can have a free call. 